There was good and evil. We chose good. Why raise the time of the most high? You sons of men. I ask you today as you join and hear my voice. And for those who could not come because of work. And for those who were intimidated by three days of the most vulgar and crass attacks by the Democratic Labour Party. We suffering, we build Barbados, we build Barbados. Sean day and night, from even the pestilence that walk at that daylight. Destiny, mama look from when you calling. Well, I am here to walk for justice today. Um, I would have recognized that there were many injustices done to the public servants of this country. So if you look, you would have realized that the public servants have not received a salary increase since 2008. NCC workers were severed and they have not received any money or they have not been reinstated or re-engaged. We have the guy ink workers who have not been given a salary increase and I can go on and on and on but I don't know if you have enough time to stay here for the rest. You know not the destiny of a next man why hold him set him free for too long I, I wanna rule my destiny making a lot of blunders. They, they, made, they promise a lot of things that they have not been able to deliver. deliver. And quite frankly, I don't think they know what to do. Quite frankly. What do you think can be done differently, if anything at all? They need to be a little more inclusive. Mostly inclusive. I don't break in chains as become the norm. I know I must get true, no matter what I want. Destiny, mama look from when you calling. Destiny, mama look from when you calling. Hey, hey. I want to rule my destiny, Lord. And I tell you once more, the rich man's wealth is in the city. Oh, destruction of the poor is our Justice. So I'm walking for justice today, my president. We are walking for the BADC workers, the customs workers, the airport workers. We are walking for salary increase for all government workers, given that inflation has increased over 25 percent since 2008. This is a hard time for the people of Barbados, and I, and to have an insensitive government that is receiving a 10 percent and they are not receiving, I have to walk. Why are the senseless killing? Could it be that nobody cares? Oh no. So many sons lost in this slaughter. Blood running in the streets like water. A gun in hand. Um, the way I see it, 
Mr. Motley is our opposition leader, which is not the Barbados Labour Party's opposition leader. She occupies a constitutional office and is accountable to all of us, the citizens of Barbados. We pay, we pay her salary. So if, if my opposition leader says to me that in carrying out her function to expose and repudiate wrongdoing of the government, that she thinks a march is in order and she needs the citizens of Barbados to support her in that march, then I think I have a duty to be here. Today, okay, 20 properties to auction, and they were all, they were all successful black men. I know you reach the stage today where the property may auction out. That was the same thing I'm saying. Many other black businessmen is coming all over Barbados and, and buying up the whole country. And the whole country. And all black people here, but no, we we'll suffer because they have no rights. Begging for the children's future. Oh, jar drugs got them by the collar. How can we stop this mind pollution? I think everybody is allowed a moment of insanity. When people rise up, as we've seen today, and come out to express how they feel, I mean, we, you know, this is, this is basically an expression of how people in Barbados are feeling. And I think, you know, for anyone to cry down, the ability of Bajans to have a voice is unfortunate, right? I know that any government does not like to see the numbers that are coming out today, but there has been a vocal expression of disappointment in this administration. There's also now been a show through the numbers that have come out today, how people feel about the various injustices that they have had to go through over the past couple of years. And I think they're really sending a message to the government that enough is enough. People want a change, but more importantly, it shows that people have now accepted that they can be a part of the change that they want to see. It isn't enough simply to say that in Barbados, you know, things are going wrong and you don't come out and have a say. People feel that you, you don't have a say unless it is elections. But clearly, even without an election, you can, you can take a stand. When the Barbados Labour Party spoke out, about the municipal solid waste tax. Um, a lot of people didn't expect people were going to hit the streets, they were going to come out and march. But what ended up happening? The government of Barbados had to repeal, um, repeal the legislation. Again, you saw when the Barbados Labour Party spoke out about fingerprinting, the same thing happened. They've had to defer the start date, the implementation date for the fingerprinting. And they, there are countless incidences where we have spoken out, whether as an opposition or even in some cases as um, you know, private organizations, and there's had to be a change. So people do have the power, but people have to realize that it is not only to be exercised every five years. They have the power, whether in their numbers, peacefully, to be able to send a message to people in authority that they've simply had enough. <laughs>